For problem number 10, it says that I want you to find the area of the following regular shapes and that you need to show your work. Well, one of the ways that your instructors have helped you work on this problem, you might not remember the special vocabulary term for this piece, but hopefully you remember that what you could do is take your straight edge and you could draw in the two sides here, creating a triangle. And now what you could do is use the fact that you know that there's this triangle here and the area of a triangle is base times height over 2. That 5 meters is the base. 2.5 meters is the height and that you're going to divide by 2 to find the area of that one triangle. But then what your teacher showed you is that what you could do is extend all of those lines and really, how many triangles happen to be inside of this particular shape? Well, this particular shape has one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So what you could do is after you find the area of one triangle, you could multiply that value by six and find the area of the entire regular shape. Shall we try it? All right. So I need to do 5 times 2 and a half. Well, 2 and a half times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Bring down the decimal point. It needs to have one place value, so that's 12 and a half. But now I need to take that answer and divide by 2. 12 and a half divided by 2 is 6 and a quarter. Well, we said there's really 6 of those triangles in my picture. So now I take that answer of 6 and a quarter and I'm going to multiply by 6. 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, carry the 1. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1 is 37. I have two decimal places in my problem. I need two decimal places in my answer. So apparently this entire regular hexagon has an area of 37 and a half meters squared. Now some of you in your math classes may have learned this formula for a regular polygon. Your teacher probably taught you that the area of a regular polygon is equal to one half multiplied by the apothem, multiplied by the length of one of the edges, what we call a side, multiplied by the number of sides that are in your shape. So if we look at our shape, this is a regular hexagon. I told you up here it's a regular shape. 1 half is a given part of the formula. 2 and a half is the length of the apothem. Remember, that's the special vocabulary word for this distance that goes from the center of the regular shape out at a 90 degree angle, cutting this side into two equal pieces. So that's where the 2 and a half comes from. S again is the length of a side. The side was given as 5 meters. That's where the 5 comes from. And N is the number of sides. Again, this is a hexagon. Hex means 6, and there's the 6. And when you do all of that multiplication, you get the same answer of 37 and a half. Remember your label. Meters is what I was measuring the original picture in, and it's squared because it's area. 37 and a half meters squared. Choose whichever method you are more comfortable with, the blue method or the red method, but now you try problem number 11.